this morning I will be working in the garden so I'm running some errands um, I've got to stop at the Dollar Tree uh, to see if they have this funnel I need to get and I'm also going to be stopping by what's the other place oh I got stopped by the pool place because I need to get a one pound um, scooper um, for the diatomous earth so that I can mix it normally I just like shake it out you know in the garden and um, I was checking out a video and they were saying you can um, add it to water and use your water dispenser because I do have a um, a dispenser that I use when I'm doing um, uh, some of my spray uh, to kill insects but I want to use the diatomous earth because I just I want to use that one and see if it's better for it but uh, I did not know that you can add water to it to dispense it and what happens is the water evaporates and the diatomous earth it has a light coat on your um, on your plants to uh, help protect them from the ants and the bugs that are eating them so my first uh, um, example to use is going to be my rose bush tree that's in the front because the leaves have all these little bite marks on them so it's looking like something's munching on them and i need to uh get a grip of that before <laughs> all the leaves are gone or eaten away so anyway i'll keep y'all posted but i'm getting ready to pull up to the dollar tree and um and see if i can find a good deal so stay tuned well, no luck at the Dollar Tree. Well, y'all, the store ended up not having the um, scooper that I needed. So, anyway, just having to revert to the old method. Put the diatomous earth, which is a powder, in here. And we're going to sprinkle it on my rosebud. Well, as y'all can see, see how my rosebush had, like, holes where the the little insects been eating it up so just kind of spray a little powder on there and hopefully that will um that will keep them from eating my rose bush alive but we'll see Not too much I'll see right there So hopefully that'll that'll take care of that. Mm -hmm. 